and let's see if I can hear myself. <laughs> oh! Oh! Hey, okay, hi there! My name is David, and thank you so much for watching this video. I'm making it today because I found a really fun and unique way of using Frost for easy wins in those co-op towers. Or perhaps if you use Frost as your main AI character, you can also augment her so that she can get you a very easy wins. So, like, unlike Devora or Terminator, who rely on, like, maybe a crazy fatal blow or maybe some crazy way of healing, Frost, um, basically wins any fight because of this high amount of physical resistance that you can get from these augments. So, the thing that first kind of clued me into Frost is just all of these blood augments. They're all providing, like, a really nice amount of physical resistance. So, the options that you have for the Power Array and the Frozen Core, it, it isn't many. Unless, like, maybe you grind Frost more than me. But uh, the only option that I had here for this Parse Effect, well, the Frozen Core, I have Parse Effects Cold Repeater, uh, is this 15% physical resistance with Glacier Calving. And it doesn't require you to use that special ability. You can use whatever ability you want. Like, for instance, I'm not using Glacier Calving. I've got Auger Lunge, Ice Auger. Yeah, you don't have to... There's some flexibility with these augments as well. So here for the power array, there are actually two options that I had here. I could go with Explosive Icicle, which gives a nice plus 10% physical resist, or Spiral Override. So if you don't have Explosive Icicle, you can go with this one here. Spiral Override. Wow, they come up with some really creative names for all of this stuff. But yeah, this is just a 2.5% physical resist, but yeah, you get more here with Explosive Icicle. Now, it's the mask where you have a whole lot of options on what you could put here. So you could take Receive 3% less damage while blocking. I think that this is a lower tier augment in comparison to some of her other augments, so I did not go with it. Um, I did choose your cold fusion so that whenever anyone strikes me since i have two of these augments they're going to be taking 12 12 damage <laughs> they're going to be taking about like one percent damage every time they hit me um it also comes with a nice 10 percent physical resist now there is a better option here let me see if i got it super cooled expansion it gives you an like double the amount of physical resistance with the core discharge also increasing by 9% damage. But I wanted to go with Cold Fusion to show that even if you don't have over 100% physical resistance, you can still have fun with the augment build. Yeah, so this, like, I do like the fact that whenever anyone's hitting Frost, they're taking damage. So, uh, you know, talking about this stuff is one thing, but actually seeing it in action is another. So let's get ourselves into a co-op battle. Hopefully, you know, I don't even know if I should do solo tag, because sometimes trying to find a suitable person to play with is hard. <laughs> even when you're gonna carry them, it's hard. <laughs> okay, so let's go search for players. Huh, that's interesting. It says that I completed this tower, even though I backed out of it before, you know, the end screen. Hmm. Okay, joining match. Let's do it. Let's put Frost to work. Oh, this person's a rank ahead of me. In Combat League. I guess I should play Combat League. But definitely do not care about Combat League. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's put Frost, Frost in action. Yes. Oh, I should give her a fancy name. I didn't give her a fancy name. Hmm, what's... I don't know, what's a, what's a good name? Hmm... It's got to include her head, because she shoots her head off all the time. So it's got to be, like, blowjob-related. Hmm. Icy head? Hmm, I don't know. Jesus. 
See, look, she takes no damage. Love that. Okay, so I actually have to start hitting this guy. <laughs> Kung Lao. So, as you saw, she takes, like, no damage from Mr. Kung Lao. Oh, shit. Oh, I was hoping he would, like, fly over. Yeah, do your teleport. Oh, he's stealing my heart. Don't steal my heart. Okay, there we go. Ha ah, ha, stupid Kung Lao. You know what? It's kind of sad that these AIs are so dumb sometimes. Like, doesn't he realize I'm just doing the same thing over and over? <laughs> when he gets to his fatal blow range, I think I'll let him get his fatal blow. Oh, he has the armor. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. He gets me with a throw. That teleport throw is stupid. No, oh, no. He's got the armor. Oh, my God. He's wrecking me. Oh no, not the armor. Oh, let's see how much this fatal blow does. <laughs> like nothing. Oh wow. And he comboed into that, right? Wow, so sorry, Kung Lao. <laughs> I don't know any moves. <laughs> Just uppercut this bitch. Okay. Oh, we might be able to get, um... Oh no! We wasted our fatal blow! Jerk. <laughs> Let's just fatal blow him anyway. Yay! <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, like, it's so nice when you have that, like, physical resistance with Frost, you don't have to worry about anything. It's just so easy. Everything's just so fucking easy. And so, like, let's say that you have, like, already a nice, like, AI build for your Frost that you use for completing AI towers. Like, I don't use Frost for that, but let's, let's go tower select. You can just throw on these augments, and she's just going to perform even better. Because, like, the opponents are going to do no damage to you. Ridiculous. I mean, like, of course, like, consumables, modifiers, those things can hurt. Let's, let's do this team raid and see how she fares. Yeah, because definitely, like, modifiers do hurt. Although, I think the Earthquake Tremble is... A physical modifier so it may not cause damage but I see there that it's like flaming world armored pillars of flame and something else oh I think that's tremor hmm. so yes wow so happy with frost now now I can have fun with frost oh god this guy's a grandmaster already Fuck. <laughs> I've literally just played one single match. <laughs> Do need to catch up on that, but good for you, Mr. whatever your name is, Chaos Physical. Come on, select. Sindel, he's playing as Sindel. Okay. So yeah, now I've started to appreciate these uh, tower team raids a little bit more. Now that I have, like, <laughs> really strong characters to fight them with. Because you can actually see, like, how much damage you do with, like, one crazy fatal blow. Like, with Baraka. Or Devora. Okay. 
No, not pillars of flame. But... Oh god, she's she's really mean, eh? Woo. <laughs> I mean, she's basically just killing herself, but she's also hurting me a lot. Ooh, so I don't, I don't think that uh, that she'll be able to do this with one life. Ooh, I'm and I'm just like in the flames, eh, bitch? Wow, get me out! <laughs> oh, so we've all taken a death now. Good, good. But she's almost dead. Ooh. Pillars of flame. Can we get a jump? Yes, that's what I wanted. To get beaten on a whole different way. Woo! Slot, as opposed to um, the increased physical damage. Because at least when the person is hitting you, they're taking damage. <laughs> That's good. So yeah, it seems like Frost is able to just live with her meaty physical resistance. May not be able to pull off a, a victory in Team Raid with just one life. Might need two. Unless you know your combos. I ain't no shit for Frost. <laughs> but yeah, like that's why I like these like augment builds. Because y you literally don't need to know anything about the character. Just know, like, uppercuts, throws, block, and you're good. You are good. So, let's get out of this screen. Oh, did we get some augments? Oh shit, I don't need augments for Frost. Shit, I have plenty. Okay, probably should have done that with Devora. Because I still need augments for her. God damn it. Okay, demo. And I highly recommend that you go try it out for yourself. Or maybe try grinding to get some of these augments. Because, you know, um... I don't know if everyone has the time to grind and get augments. But these augments really make Frost a whole lot more durable. And able to pick up easy wins in those co-op towers. And I know people still struggle in those co-op towers. Because I was doing it last night at like 3 o'clock. Or no, 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 no. It was the day before. At 3 o'clock. And people were just losing. And like, I, all I need is one fatal blow with Devora. And if I can't get that fatal blow off. And you quit. Because it looks like I'm gonna lose. Well, like, fuck you. You just fucked yourself. I was about to win with the fatal blow. Whatever. Whatever. So yes, opponents that strike you receive 1.2% damage. Percent physical resist. This combined with all of the other physical resistances means that whenever they strike you, they'll be doing more damage to themselves than to you. <laughs> nice. Burrowing Augur deals 9% more damage. Like I said, with this explosive icicle um, augment that you put here on the power array, you don't necessarily have to use that special move, because I don't particularly like burrowing auger. I like the other ones, if I can pull them off. 10% <laughs> physical resist, pretty nice. Pretty nice. So right now we're sitting at 40% plus physical resistance. Then with this wall of frost, Glacier calving lasts 3 more seconds, but you get a 15% physical resistance. So that brings you up to 70. And I mean, you could put it up at 90 if you change this one for... where is it? Super Cooled Expansion. This will put you at 20% um, per augment, so 40... 40 plus 10 is 50, 50 plus 30 is 80. So you can go up to 80% physical resistance. But I don't think it's, um, it's worth it. Wait, let's see, did we do that math again right? 40, oh, 20, yes. 40, 20, 60, 60, and then 30, 90. That puts you at 90. Okay, and the way that I have it, it's 20, 30, 50, 50, 70, yes. That math is right. So you can go from anywhere in between 70 and 90. But I think, yeah, 
like 70 is a sweet spot because here you get this spike damage and one of the things that they don't talk about that there is a hidden mechanic with these spike damage augments so if you are player number two in a tag battle or in a group battle you are giving your buff to the players before you so if you are player two let's say in that tag battle and someone was playing before me every time the opponent would strike my teammate they would receive also like a 1.2 percent damage spike damage yeah it's all very nice and i'm so happy with frost and I'm so happy with Frost, yes, and I'm so happy with you, dear viewer, if you've made it here to the end of me rambling about Frost. Yes, I do absolutely love this augment system in in Mortal Kombat. It reminds me of, like, the augment system or the gem system in Xenoblade Chronicles X. It was just so deep and not obvious and that's what I find here in Mortal Kombat. Just all these like little hidden secrets for you to discover, which is so exciting. So, um, yes, thank you so much for watching this video. God bless you. A like, a comment, a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Give a like or a comment for secrets, because there's so many secrets in Mortal Kombat 11. But yes, God bless you. Stay warm. Stay safe. And, um, yeah, until next time. Peace. Bye. Take care. God bless you. I'm going to ramble on a little bit so that this becomes my thumbnail for YouTube. Fuck. Probably should have thought of that first. Oops. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. God bless you. Take care. Peace.